Now I have just purchased an Escort Cosworth and as the winter's here I thought I'm going to take it off the road, clean it up underneath. Now I might have bitten off more than that and chew for the winter, I want it back on the road for the summer. I am not prepared to go without this car for the summer. So underneath we've found a little bit, a couple of little bits of welding. So I'm going to show you them and hopefully we're going to fix them in this video. So the, inside the wheel arch, just here, you can see I've started wire brushing it to remove the undersail. And up here there's a that bracket that holds something for the fuel system. I think it's some kind of breather system. And the bracket that holds it has gone rusty. So when we rebuild the car, we can't refit like the valve, the breather thing that we attach to the bracket. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by removing all the undersail with a knotted wire wheel. And we'll see if we can remake a bracket to hold the breather in place. Now removing the undersail is an absolute pig of a job. Now because I'm working in an enclosed garage and when you're using the wire wheel on the undersail it gets quite smoky and I don't like the fact I'm sitting in an enclosed garage breathing in undersail smoke and also it doesn't seem to come off that well. The angle grinder I don't think it's spinning fast enough to remove the undersail so I kind of just smears it about, not really removing it as fast as I would like. Once I've removed enough of the undersail around the bracket, I'm then going to get my angle grinder out. And this has got a flappy disc on with sandpaper on. And we're going to sand back the rest of the rusty bracket. So we've got a nice clean area to weld a bracket to when we eventually get that far and make a new one. So this is where we're at fellas. With the flappy disc, I've took the remainder of the bracket right back. You can see there, it's even got a little bit there hanging off. I think I am going to take this a little bit further back. But one thing I am doing is I'm keeping a check in the boot for flames or smoke. We don't want to, we don't want to set the car on fire in my garage. So with this flappy disc on the grinder, we'll take that bracket a little bit further back with our PPE, glasses and air protection. So this area is now clean enough to weld a new bracket on, but I have found some more rust just down here on the bottom of the rear quarter. Before we fit the new bracket, let's first fix this hole, because if we put the bracket on, it's going to get in the way while I'm trying to fix this rust hole. Now there's actually two bits of steel here that have been welded together by Ford. So this is two, bit, two repairs we need to make. And you can see the hole goes through, and this hole goes through into the boot on the bottom of the rear quarter inside the car. So to help us clean that area up, I've got my new Prevost tool here. And I've got some Rolock discs. And the way these work is, you've got like a <coughs> spinny tool. Then these sanding discs, just lock in the end, like that. <coughs> so let's clean up the rust and see what we're left with. Then next we'll remove this little bit of understail that's in the corner. I'm going to remove this because I don't want to catch a fire and causing any issues when we're making the repairs. To remove it I used a flathead screwdriver. I then went in with my Dremel tool with a small wire brush on the end and whizzed it off. Right fellas, I'm getting a bit peckish, so let's head over to my toolbox and get something to eat. And thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Y Food, I'm going to have this salted caramel and chocolate bar. So Y Foods do a range of different products, they do the bars, they also do a powder that you can mix yourself, and they also do a meal replacement shake. This isn't a diet or a protein shake, this is a meal replacement drink. And for me, one of the benefits of the bars is it saves going in the house and making something to eat. It's just something quick and easy I can have on the go while working on the car. So why food belong to the smart food category? This means everything is nutritionally complete. Now another one of my favorite why food products is a cold brew coffee meal replacement drink. This is high in fiber, high in protein, lactose free, gluten free, and it's got no added sugar. And it's got 26 vitamins and minerals in this full bottle. So check out Y Food now by clicking the link in the description of this video or the top pin comment and use discount code smith-youtube to get 10% off your first order. But yet again, thanks Y Food for sponsoring this video and let's get back to welding or working on my Escort Cosworth. 
Right, now this is the scariest bit for me. What we need to do is, with this cutting disc, see it's got a cutting disc on there, that's a nice thin cutting disc. We need to chop the rot off the car with this tool. This is always the scariest job for me of all of the two cars I've done. Well, this is actually the third welding job I've done in the car. This is always the scariest bit. So let's plug the tool in. Get chopping. So this Prevost tool is fitted with a one millimeter thick disc and the steel on the car is about 0.8 millimeters thick. So this tool has got absolutely no problem cutting through the car. Now I am avoiding cutting next to the rust. I'm going to pass the rust in a good steel. So when we eventually come to do the repair, we don't blow any more holes in with the welder. It should all weld up nice and neat and grind back nice and neat. So you can see here the piece what we've just cut off the car and you can see there's actually two bits of steel here. There's one bit runs down the back which is inside the whale well. Then there's another bit joined to the back that goes down the back of the whale well and flicks along and goes at the side of the boot floor. So there's two bits of steel we need to replace here. And there's a hole in the car what we need to fix. So let's head over and get a bit of scrap steel and cut some repair panels out. This is actually part of a Vauxhall Nova boot floor but steel is steel and hopefully it should work just as fine on a rusty Ford. Then with the bit what we've cut off, we'll hold it up to the car, mark it up and trim it down to size. And that is a nice fit, it's got a good gap all the way around. You don't want to put straight up against the repair, you want a nice gap all the way around that you fill with your weld. And this is the other patch I've made, because like I say, there's two bits of steel we need to weld in here. We just need to fold it over to make the lip what we'll cut off. So there is one of the repair panels, what I've cut and bent over. And as you can see, it's a great fit. I'm absolutely over the moon. So let's now get the other repair patch and hold it in place with a magnet. So when I weld it, it doesn't move about. Then we'll break out the welder and weld it up. Before I start welding on the car, I'm going to do some test welding on a repair panel. Just so I know my welder's set and I'm not going to start blowing holes in my expensive car. Right, so this is the patch what we've just welded in. So what we're going to do now is, you can see, it's double skinned. We've got a bit at the back and a bit at the front. So we're going to shape it the way it should be on a on a st on a unwelded Escort Cosworth. So if we come round to the other side of the car, you can see what that part should look like. Right, so here on the other side of the car, you can see this is shape it should be. It's kind of straight with a little bow bit up here. So let's get the angle grinder out and replicate that on the other side. Right, so to shape the metal, all I'm using is an uh, angle grinder and this is a blunt flappy disc so it's not going to go too heavy when we're grinding and kind of it should be easier to control with a blunter, blunter disc you can see how shiny it is but it'll still rip that metal down no bother. Once I've got the panel the rough shape I want, I'm then going to grind down my welds. Nope. 
like to have welded that patch up the best I can let's show you it so you see there fellas I've welded that hole up that was there and to me it looks absolutely spot on very pleased with my effort let us know what you think and I'll show you it from the back side right so here you can see what we've welded in we've welded this lip in got a nice radius on there like what should be there and there's a weld along here what I've ground back and to me that that, that looks absolutely spot on I'm over the moon with it nice and smooth you can't really see it and it's about the same size lip as what's on the other side of the car so overall I'm buzzing with me welding now the next job what we need to do is what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and fix a petal cap so what we need to do is we need to take we need to take this flap off now to get this flap off we need to go inside the boot right then inside the boot on the back of the petal cap there's some little clips here what we need to push in then hopefully this full cup should come out so the petal cap so the petal flap and everything should come out with it so with a flathead screwdriver, I'm going to try and carefully push the clips in and pop the cap out. Then with the petal cap off, fellas, you can see just how bad the rust is in behind. Hopefully we can get away with just a flat piece of steel. We certainly can't put it back together looking like that. So let's start by getting some tools out and chopping all the rust out of there. Then with the cutting tool, we're going to go nice and slowly and cut it out slowly. I'm not just going to hack away at it. I'm going to go nice and slow because I don't want to make myself any more work. Now I have to be honest, fellas, this is about the scariest repair I've ever done on a car. This car was a lot of money to me. I absolutely broke the bank to buy this car and I'm not a professional welder. So this full thing makes us scared. I'm going to try and avoid going onto the folds and the creases of the panel. I'm going to try and get away with just one big flat panel of a repair patch. So here with the finger sander, I'm just trying to get the edges nice and straight. It's easier to cut a straight line and repair a straight line than a higgledy jiggledy piggledy one. Right fellas, so you can see there the big square hole where I've cut in to get rid of the rust. So let's get a new bit of steel, cut a square out and see if we can fix me mess. And this bit of sheet steel, what I'm cutting out is what people recommend to replace rusting cars. It is one millimetre thick mild steel. And you can buy this sheet steel all over. I got my bit from eBay and it was about £28 delivered. It's one metre long by half a metre wide. So I should get plenty of repairs on my cars over the years out of this one bit of steel for £28. So we'll put our bit what we've cut out up and we'll see how much we need to trim down. Now one of the corners I couldn't really get in has got a bit of a radius so I'm going to cut the radius on with these tin snips then we'll put it back in and see how much we need to trim. I'm taking my time, I'm not rushing, I'm doing small bits at a time, taking little bits off so I don't end up having to cut another bit of steel. I don't want to make a balls of it, I want to get it right first time. Right fellas, so this is a panel I've made to fix a fuel filler cap on the Cosworth like I say, we still need a hole in here, but once it's welded in place, we'll do that later. So I'll put it in and show you how it fits. It does have a gap all the way around, like you're meant to for when you're welding. So let's get the welder out and stick it in place. To keep the panel in place, I'm using some proper welding magnets. These keep the panel nice and straight, so it makes a neater job when you're welding. If you are looking for a welder to weld your cars, I would recommend looking for one with look like fine adjustment this Artec one I've got is an absolute beauty you can get cheaper ones but if you are looking for one I would recommend looking for one with fine adjustment makes the job a lot easier when you're welding on thin metal like this car so while I'm welding I've got my dad there on fire duty as well and my head is in the wheel well there's not much space in here, especially for my big head, so it is quite tight and cramped. Now, I did manage to get the job done, and I must say I was very pleased with myself. Right fellas, so there's a welding work, what we've done on the fuel filler of the Escort. Now, you might not think it's perfect, but I'm pretty pleased with myself. If you look in the wheel arch, you can see there, 
not too bad. So let's grind it all back and see if we can get it to look a little bit better. I'm going to start with this finger sander on an airline. I'm going to put my fingers here so I don't scratch the paintwork. I'd rather take the, my skin off my knuckles than the paint off my car. Right fellas, so here you can see the fuel filler, what I've welded up, and I must say I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. I am by no means a professional welder, but that has came out pretty well. We still need to put the hole in for the fuel filler. I'm going to do that in my next video. I did run out of finger sanding belts. I have used every single belt I've got to grind all the welds down, but I've obviously they keep snapping. This is just a cheap finger belt sander thing, and it's... It just keeps snapping belts, so if anyone's got any recommendations on a better one, leave some in the comments. In the wheel arch, it's turned out just as well, and especially once we get some undersail on or some Raptor, you're never ever going to see my weld. So, like I say, fellas, more than happy with how that's turned out, especially for like my third attempt weld on a car. Let us know what you think, leave something in the comments. Right, so now we need to fabricate that bracket, what we cut off at the beginning, and it's to hold this. So we need to make a bracket to hold this inside the whale well. So let's start with a bit of steel and we'll draw something on it. Something like that should do. Let's see if we can cut it out when we tin snips. God, it's tough that. We'll get the grinder on it. Right, now let's put it in the vise and tidy this up. Then with this file, I'm just going to put some nice rounded edges on the bracket. Now next, let's mark out the holes for the bracket. We'll do two little dots where we're going to put little holes for the screws. And we're also going to put two little holes in here to spot weld to spot like plug weld through and stick it to the car. So with our center punch, let's mark the center of the holes. Then we'll put our center drill in the drill. Then we'll put some bigger holes where we're going to weld through and stick it to the car. Then next we'll clean these holes up. Then next let's bend the bracket over, run it right on that line, so we'll get nice and flush. Then just with my fingers, Then we'll get a nice sharp corner in here with a hammer. I might put a little, little support in here as well. Right, I've given the bracket a couple of quarts of weld through primer, so let's now get it stuck onto the car with the welder. We are using 0.6 welding wire, which is, I believe it's the smallest you can get, and it's what we need for welding on cars. Let's get the gloves on and get welding. Right, so there's the bracket welded in place. 
So I'll give it one more coat of some uh, well through primer just to protect it. There we have it fellas, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any hints, tips or advice, leave some in the comments. But yet again, thanks for watching and I'll catch us on the next one. Cheers.